final boss, Persona. It's got two phases that we know of. We've never beaten the second phase. Pandora. God, you're ugly. Some Lovecraft crap right there. All right. The mouths on the walls. We've read this text twice already. We're here for the fight. All right. So, this first phase should be easy. Let's see what this says to her. Dark bird is probably horrible. I'm just gonna have you attack. Here goes. Yeah, okay. So that hieroglyphine is just like the you wanna kill the final boss ability, apparently. Alright. Help me! That alone probably will push us over the edge. Throws our healer. Good. Annoying, but not debilitating at this point in the fight. All the damage right there. Let's get funky. Let's get funky. Ow. Good. Getting healed by ice over there. Actually, I wonder if you might actually do more damage without heat wave. Here goes. Okay. Persona. Help me. We've never really had problems with the first phase. The first phase is almost nothing. It's the second phase that has the big attacks. Most of the time, the second phase is almost nothing. It's only when she pulls out Butterfly Storm or Mabu Fudan that we have any trouble. And we should be fine with Mabu Fudan now. It's really just Butterfly Storm. Two Butterfly Storms in a row is just a lot of damage. Ok, 
Okay. Just whittling her down. Phase two? Alright, phase two, guys. Here it goes. Alright. So, let's see this right. The red hair means physical attacks? Oh, we hit it wrong once and then we'll, we'll know better. I think I can use the hieroglyphine thing on any phase. Alright. So. She switched. Uh, she switched back to physical. Wing flap is basically her wasting a turn. Persona. Persona! Uh, we gotta be careful about using spells because she'll switch back and then absorb them. No matter what. Awesome. I think we'll just have everybody just physical attack and have him use that and we'll win, I think. I feel like that might be true. Oh, here goes Butterfly Storm. Only one Butterfly Storm, though. She used something else first. And it didn't do that much damage to this group. That's awesome. And yeah, no matter what, always do that. She can change her weaknesses mid-fight. She absorbs magic on half of them, but she only becomes strong against physical, so I'll use physical. Really, the main character is doing all the damage. We just need to live through the um, butterfly storms. Same thing again. I should know. It's slightly different because she can attack. I think we're gonna get it this time, guys. Now the question is, is there a third phase? Move is the winner right here. Boom! Look at that. Oh, my 
does 800 damage every time he does it. Symphony of Lament? That's new. Is it? Oh no, I think I would just, that just puts guilt on people, right? I don't know if I've seen that before, though. A little bit less damage that time. Alright, charming. Not worried about charm. Well, that move was just designed to beat this boss, basically. I'm just doing auto and canceling it immediately just to re put the, uh, the last moves, but not to keep doing it over and over again. In case I have to like heal or something. His guilt's almost come off. Sad, he doesn't really do enough that I care about getting the guilt off of him at the moment. Rocky Kaja. die. She's not even doing Butterfly Storm this time. She did it once. Wish I had the thing to get Rocky Kaja off of her. The Kunda just removed stuff from us. I'm not even having to heal right now. how much HP she has, but I think we've made it farther than we have before at this point because of how much damage we're doing on the main character. She's got to be close to being dead. Come on, kill her. Damn. Come on. We're being really lucky with the complete lack of Butterfly Storms this fight. If she just never used Butterfly Storm, we could have won last time. She's not doing my Buffy Dine either. Come on. 
How much health do you have? <laughs> Good. I'm gonna kill her with like a heat wave or something. Boom! Here goes! Right, big hit. Final hit, come on. Die! Hey! We win! Why won't you give in? How, how can you be so strong? I grinded for more time than I want to mention. You already know, don't you? It's because we work together. The power of friendship. No, I, ah, that and we believe in ourselves. People can't live in isolation. If things are hard, just look around. They're talking about their social links, guys. We'll be there for you. You and me, we're both part of Maki Sanamura. These are our friends. Let's end this together. Thank you. At last, it's over. Yeah. Thank you, all of you. We have to part ways now, but I'll never forget you all. Hey, what do you, what do you mean part ways? I'm only a shadow of Maki Sanamura. I can't go with you. It was fun, really, it was. Hey, Maki, that's not fair, whoa. Aw. Damn. Send all of you back to the real world. Voice acting. One second. Thank you. I hope you'll still think about me at least once in a while. Goodbye. I love you. Goodbye. Okay. Oh, Philemon. What's up, bud? Nothing more need be said. I'm sure you have all discovered by now your true selves. The smiles you wear are no longer false masks. You may find yourselves troubled or suffering or lost in the future, but there is nothing to fear. Look to your soul for your true self. No matter what trials you may face, that will be enough for you to weather the storm. Now go forth into your bright futures. Took the mask off. I don't know who it is, but you took the mask off. <laughs> You're supposed to recognize that face? And he turned into butterflies. Though the world's eyes were on Mikage Cho after the incident, normalcy eventually returned to the town. Despite the heavy media attention on Sebek and Kendori, the identities of the students central to the incident remained hidden. Time passed, and the incident faded from people's minds. The young adults came away with a firm sense of their true selves as they took their first steps towards the unwritten future.
32 what? I didn't read it fast enough. Nice. So there's so many things we have to do now, like, eventually we're going to have to play this game again because there's like a whole nother, like, quest, like the Snow Queen main story line. And there's other party members we can get. But, we're not doing that anytime soon. Hey, looks like Mr. Smelly Pants is here. Hey, laugh it up, Shop. Today's the last day you get to call me that. You're not too fond of heights, are you, Massey? Or should I say, Mr. Damp Crotch? What the? Who told you that, you bastard? <laughs> Your mom gave me every last detail. My, my, how shameful for a sixth grader. That stupid cow. <laughs> okay. It's better than crapping your pants in junior high. Well, technically sixth grade is part of junior high too. <laughs> I'm gonna get a good look at return performance of Mr. Damp Crotch today. Those nitwits, where do they think they are? <laughs> Give me a headache. Sorry to keep you waiting. Oh, what's wrong guys? Ooh. Uh, ooh. Go to Jay, Maki, perfect timing. Mark here wanted to tell you how excited he is to ride the free fall. Really? Let's get going. Here he go, you dick. <laughs> What's wrong? Come on, let's go. Chisado and the others are waiting outside. Here he go, I'll get you. Man, I can't wait to see this. But check out Maki, makes the stuff that happens seem like a bad dream. <sighs> Pedora. Sorry, what? Man, you're bringing that up now? Cool as ever, huh? Oh, it's nothing. I only just remembered the last thing in Pandora's box. Well then, Jay, shall we go? It was hope. <laughs> so, man, I wonder if these characters come up in Persona 2 at all. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? Hey, wait up. Hurry up, Jihei. Ooh. Sorry, I'm yawning. This is why I'm not doing Sunday, Saturday morning streams anymore. I stay up so late Friday night with the stream that I'm barely awake right now. <laughs> is that the compact? What is that? Oh boy. So we're going to have to do Persona 2 Innocent Sin and Eternal Punishment sometime soon. Although I think I might wait until after Xenoblade, Xenogears, Xenosaga is all done and then do just Shin Megami Tensei franchise, kind of like we're doing Xeno right now. With her illness completely cured, she matured into a cheerful, positive woman. She won an award at a major art exhibit and has received lucrative commission offers, but her priorities still lie with spending time with her mother. She was recently seen enjoying dinner with her mother and a man who seemed to be her boyfriend. He won over his strongly opposed parents and went to New York on his own. His street art style has received critical acclaim and news of his notoriety even reached Japan. His mother still pesters him with phone calls every week. I hit the button, there's nothing to speed it up. As part of his executive training, he took job uh, took a job incognito as a salesman at Nanjo Group, at a Nanjo Group subsidiary. subsidiary. After seeing how the rest of the world lived, he slowly became mellower. Some have spotted him sleeping on the train, wearing a tie embroidered with the phrase, number one. <laughs> oh, Nanjo. After rising to fame and fortune, he openly revealed the embarrassment of his school days on a TV talk show. His openness boosted his position in magazine popularity surveys, bringing him to even greater heights. And even with his lofty career, he always keeps an interest in any news about Mark.
As for his fate, that's for you to decide. All right. I don't know if any of these characters show up in part two. I mean, I, I, I'm pretty sure they're not like in the party or anything, but I don't know if they're like mentioned. Like sometimes, you know, like there'd be like a cameo from Persona 3 characters in Persona 4 or something. back on tonight at 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Eastern Daylight Time. I'm not sure which one I'm supposed to say. Daylight Savings, what are you going to do? Um, with more Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Like I said, once we get done with the Xeno franchise, we're going to play all of them. We did one, we're going to do two, we're going to do X, we're going to do Xeno Gears and Xeno Saga. And I think it's going to be maybe time for Shin Megami. We got all the other personas to do. We got the the mainline Shimigami games, Nocturne and all that. We've got Devil Summoner and Devil Survivor and Digital Devil Saga. There's lots of Shimigami Tensei to play. But anyways, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.